guys. So I wanted to do a video if my uh, cat here allows me. I want to talk about something that might help some newer pullers or some pullers who uh, don't feel like they're really um, performing to their abilities if they know they can uh, perform to. And that's the difference between outcome and performance. So I'm not smart enough to just tell you like, you know, what I'm talking about. So I'll use an analogy. So the analogy is a movie. So we've all seen movies that were good movies that had really shitty endings. And then we've seen really bad movies that had great endings, right? So if you saw a great movie with a bad ending, it doesn't mean it was a bad movie. And if you saw a really bad movie with a great ending, it doesn't mean it was a good movie. But usually the ending is what we remember, right? So... I'll give some examples for me. So in a case where I had a great performance, but the, uh, the outcome wasn't that great was for me, I think it was USAA nationals in 2014. I believe, I think there was like 19 people in the 76s left-handed. Um, I ended up taking third in that class, but my performance was awesome. I felt so good that day. And I got some good wins. There was a bracketing issue, so I ended up having to beat somebody who was already in the B side, or I was already out of the tournament uh, before I got top three. Um, but I took third to Ron Klumba took first, and Ken McKinney took second, and I took third. And that was a great day for me. Um, you know, out of 19 people or so, it was a lot of people. And a lot of really top guys, like there was, you know, Bob Sawick was in that class, um, Mark Vieira, um, I think... Mike Shalhoub was in that class. I might be wrong there. Uh, Socrates was in there. So some really good, some really good pullers. Ooh. Anyway, so some really good pullers, and I had a really good day, but maybe not the outcome that I wanted, right? And then like maybe a different tournament where uh, my performance was kind of crap, but I won. In my opinion, was the 2017 California States. Every match I had was a war. Um, it was just a really bad day for me and I had to rely on all my endurance to get through. And, uh, you know, so that was a, a example of like a really kind of a shitty day that just ended up good because I put myself in a place where I just wasn't going to lose. And an example of where it was just a damn good movie and a good ending was for me, 2015 nationals. Uh, I went undefeated, just felt really good. Everything went well. So the point is, is that sometimes you have a great performance, but you just don't win. And that's just the way it's going to be. Some guys are just going to be better. But it doesn't mean that you have to go back to the drawing board and erase everything you did because you didn't win. Maybe you did as best you've ever done. It just wasn't good enough to win. And then there's other times where you might have won, but if you really look back on it and you're really honest with yourself, did you really pull that well? Or did you just get placed in a position where you could win? And uh, you know, be honest with yourself and go back and if you have those days where you won just by the skin of your teeth and you know you should have uh, had a better day, then fix something. And if you also go to a tournament and you get fifth in a stat class, and uh, but you really did some really good things along the way, then be honest with yourself and, and, and maybe just continue to do what you were doing. Uh, maybe if you had six months more of training, if we could you know make up this you know fictional calendar and stick six months in there of training would you have gotten third second or first maybe so maybe you're doing everything right and you're just on your way uh, so hopefully that helps remember performance versus outcome they're not the same